If you're just starting with the new macro creator and you don't quite know how to use it quite yet and you don't have time to watch some of those maybe longer videos and you just want a quick answer for your question, I have the answer just for you. How do you add controls into your macro from nodes and modifiers in your comp? Really quick, first you have to load into the new macro creator. Group select everything first, does not matter the order. Select one control that's going to be in red, that's going to be your active node, that's going to be where all of your controls are going to be going that you're going to be making with the macro creator. This important difference is you're not going to be making controls in this video, you'll be adding controls from nodes. You can come, you can come on up here to workspace, go on down here to scripts and find Fusion Pixel Studio, the new macro creator, macro creator, launch that and we'll see it loads in all your nodes. We can extend out the right side over here to see a little bit more information, or you can keep it short, it's up to you. You can come on over here to the left side of your screen in the top part over here. We can see all of our nodes, modifiers, and groups listed out right here. Groups are gonna have a different color of a reddish color, I believe. If we see the node we want, we can go ahead and quickly select it, and it's gonna bring in all of the controls down here. You can see all of the controls are, di are differently colored in different ways. The ones with all the unique colors like these are gonna be controls types you can actually make with the new macro creator. Yellow like this, this is going to be a different tab you can see so we can see this is going to be a merge tab this is going to be a merge label and this is going to be a separator line which is going to be something that you can't really make really easily default in DaVinci. Now we can see over here we can see our merge section if we wanted to we can just type in a merge right here and it takes you straight to the merge section. If you want to find a specific tool you can also come up here and type in whatever you want so we can just type in frame. It's not going to load in anything just right off the bat we can then type in the search button and it brings in your search query. You can remove it and then you can also then press the refresh button right there and it reloads all of your inputs, outputs, and nodes in case you wanted to quickly change something in there or just to clear out your search right there. So to add a control, if you quickly go into here and look for what you're looking for, we can go ahead and look for the controls page, which looks like we're loaded into right here. We can either add in this, this nest right here really easily, which we will really quickly, or you can make your own. But we can go ahead and either single click and shift and click again to group select things in between those two sections. Or if you press control, you'll be able to deselect or select things independently as well. Or you can just do a shift and then click and hold once and then drag to multi-select really easily. Or if you don't have more than one thing selected already, you can just click and drag to select a big area. We can see we have the areas that we want. We maybe want to add the edges section right there. But then we can come on up here and press bulk add and it adds everything really easily into here. We can see because we added this nest right here, it actually adds it as a nest into here really easily by default, which tells us if it's open, if it's zero, that means it's closed. If it's one, it means it's open. And it tells us how much it's hiding, if it is a nest and if it is visible or invisible. This is actually broken for any controls coming from an actual node. If this is a control that you're making, this will not be a problem, but anything that came from a node will generally say it is actually invisible. Go and deselect that for anything like that in the future. I don't know why that is. It seems to be a problem with DaVinci and how it stores the information. You can see this is only hiding 15, but I, think, I don't think we have 15 here. So let's go ahead and count these to make sure. Looks like we only have 10 here. So if we would change this number down to 10 real quick, we'll see there is no change. But let's go ahead and change this number down to 9 to see if we lose one of our controls. Looks like we do. So that means 10 is our correct number, which means we can stick to that. If you want to, you can also scroll over on the right down here to see a little bit more information. If anything goes wrong, change any of these values to fix them. However, if you don't know what you're doing and if you don't want to break anything, I really recommend not messing with anything on that screen. So there you have it. There's how you can add controls really easily into your macro from a node or a modifier. Really fast, really easy, really simple. Check out more tutorials down below and also learn more about the new macro creator also down below. All right, I'll see you next time. Happy animating.